it, it's kind of a long story. Uh, the, well, it's a very long story. 30 years. Um, 40, 40 years. We go back to 1980, really. So I got a PhD in physics in uh, 1972 from, from UBC. Problems in physics didn't seem that interesting to me, let's put it that way, and the problems outside physics, particularly in the life sciences, were fascinating. I applied for a postdoc to go to Oxford, and uh, amazingly I got it. Uh, I'd never taken a biochemistry course in my life, and I still haven't, actually. Anyway, there's a huge variety of these lipids, and some of them, if you take them out of the membrane and you look at the properties, um, just put them back into water, uh, they don't adopt the, bio, the stru bilayer structure, which is obviously what you need to keep this permeability barrier. So we became curious as to what they do. I've spent about 30 years, really, looking at these very, very basic properties of lipids and membranes. You know, I mean, that, how many doses last year? Three billion doses for the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine. Unbelievable, right? Um, I mean, there's estimates that saved 10 million lives uh, in 2021 alone. So the uh, yeah, the impact here is ra is rather is rather huge. You know, people sometimes ask, well, how does it feel to have been part of that? So for as far as I'm concerned, I just say, well, it's pretty good. We've had this impact from something we started, literally a group that I had in 1982. Mick Hope, Tom Madden, uh, Marcel Bally, and Lawrence Mayer were the people that we started this whole thing with. Uh, we're, still, we're still working together after all these years, and we've had one hell of an impact, and this is, that makes me feel pretty good. This is a story, really, that has a lot to do with, uh, with the ionizable lipids and how well they performed, all of which came from very basic experiments trying to understand lipid asymmetry in membranes. This is causing a revolution in medicine because we now have the ability to treat disease in a completely different way. It's almost like a vaccine for atherosclerosis that's uh, coming along. This is uh, work that Acuitas has been doing with a company in Boston called Verve. Uh, we can see obvious ways now of treating diseases such as Alzheimer's and Huntington's and Parkinson's, etc. The eye, when direct injection into the eye, we can now do gene therapy. We now have lipid nanoparticle systems that can access the bone marrow. The potential for cancer vaccines, for example, uh, is huge. I mean, the personalized cancer vaccines. So the list goes on and on and on. Aside from the realm of the range of diseases that one can treat, uh, is the speed you can do it. Once you know the, what protein it is that uh, you need to replace, uh, then you can, you can synthesize the messenger RNA or the small interfering RNA a month or two. You can package it in a day or two, and you have this exquisitely targeted personalized um, medicine for, for an individual. It's, it's the most amazing time in medicine. So these are, these are things that are very exciting. Um, yeah, I'm not stopping anytime soon. You're exa exactly right. <laughs> awesome, we'll cut there. That's perfect ending too.